Collapsing terrain is not always detected, trough perceptive mapping, and requires a specific locomotion strategy for safe navigation. The probing cycle follows a defined state machine. After the nominal footholds and the visual foothold adaptation terrain are obtained, a trajectory optimization computes the force envelopes required for one stride of motion. An MPC is then used for motion planning and for probing the terrain with the computed force envelopes. Once the terrain is deemed safe, the robot advances to the next foothold. If a collapse is detected, an alternative foothold is selected starting again from the VFA. We now see the robot crossing a terrain made of flippable elements, partially using blind locomotion and partially aided by vision. On the second step, a collapse is detected. The framework allows the robot to quickly avoid collapsing and move to a safe position. The robot then continues forward over the seemingly flat terrain. In this case, vision is not helpful since the surface appears even, making probing essential to detect dangerous footholds. When the foot is placed near the edge, probing detects the instability and prevents collapse once again. The robot can then safely traverse the entire terrain. Next, the robot walks on loose, moving rocks. The framework keeps the base stable and picks safe footholds while the rocks shift due to the foot force. The key to probing are the ground reaction forces envelopes. The force envelope is the set of contact forces allowed during the planned motion. Each envelope has a well-defined lower and upper bounds. During probing, measured forces must stay inside this envelope. If they do, the contact is safe. Elevation mapping also helps on uneven ground. It steers foothold selection away from holes and gaps before probing confirms foot placement safety. The final scenario shows unstable rocks near the edge of elevated terrain. Without probing, the sliding rocks cause the robot to slip down the edge. With the framework active, probing happens first. The robot detects the sliding rocks and recovers its position. It retracts the foot, lowers the base, to return the, the center of mass inside the support polygon. This is possible thanks to framework's trade-off between interaction force tracking and robot stability. The robot manages to further traverse the terrain without any more failures.